Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial Episode 51. Today we're going to take a look at WP Touch Pro 3 by Brave New Code. Now, I use WP Touch Pro 2 a lot, and I know a lot of people talked, spoke ill of it, uh, especially in the last year or so, last two years even, um, mainly because it was old at that point. Um, the themes are old. A lot of people use the stock theme, but that's going to happen in anything. How many times do you see the WordPress 2013 or 2012 or 2010 themes? I see them all the time. Um, what I used WP Touch Pro 2 for was a mobile detection engine. I didn't really use any of the stock themes. I actually had my own stock theme that I started with because I found both the other two heavy, um, and I started yeah from scratch on my own. The benefit to doing that as a mobile detection engine was that I could serve up proper image size uh, to users, whereas in a responsive you don't. So if we take a look at the main site here, and I recorded this once and unfortunately my mic wasn't on, so we'll refresh here. You can see I've also got this uh, responsive standard theme. So when this all looks good, um, I'm quite happy with the responsive theme here, but what it doesn't give us is when we get down to an image. This is a thumbnail. What we're actually seeing here is this image uh, in the iOS and this image in my browser are the same size. It's just scaled down for iOS. That means I'm serving large images to iOS, which it doesn't need, and I don't like that. Um, yeah, I just simply don't like it. I don't think that's a good user experience. It means things are going to be slow and we're killing bandwidth. Uh, bandwidth isn't so bad in some countries like the US, but in Canada it's super expensive um, and it's generally slower. Uh, just because we don't have the same type of coverage that you guys have in the US or other countries. So what WP Touch Pro 2 allowed me to do was serve proper sized images. Now, WP Touch through Pro 3 was written again from the ground up. It is a mobile detection engine. That's really what it is. It uh, provides you with themes that are already using that mobile detection engine because most consumers picking it up are just not going to know that that's what it is, that's what it can be used for. and um, they want a theme. They just want to see this puts a theme on my site. That's it. So for WP Touch Pro 3, we have a great new developer's guide. Um, they've actually broken a lot of it up into modules. So if you want Font Awesome as the example right on the cover of the developer guide, then you'd enable the Font Awesome module. If you want to Google Fonts, you'd enable the Google Fonts module. Uh, menus, custom post types, all that stuff. So what we're going to do to start with here is activate WP Touch Pro 3. I've installed it, I've played with it, and then I reset it. And that's all I've done so far. And today we're just going to look at the stock theme. We're going to make some customizations for it uh, so that it looks proper. It looks reasonable on my current site. And we need to activate our license is the next step after, or after installing it. It's tied to your email. And my key is there. I'm going to activate. And boom, we're done. So now, this is what we have. That page will be hidden now, so we won't actually see the licensing activation. This is the dashboard uh, for WP Touch Pro. You can see up here we have notifications. I have no notifications right now. When it's not activated, you'd actually have a notification up there saying, hey, this isn't activated. Um, we have quick links to our knowledge base or support uh, product updates and to our own profile on the BNC or Brave New Code site. But what we're going to jump into here is the theme options. If I refresh, there's a few things I don't like about this starting out for my site. First thing I don't like is the slider at the top. Um, I just don't like it. I don't think sliders are spectacular in general, and I don't want one on my mobile site, especially. And we'll save the changes. So that's all I did was disable it. It's pretty simple. Click of a button. There we go, we don't have them. I also pointed out earlier that we didn't see um, small thumbnails. So you can see we're serving up a proper small thumbnail now, which is excellent. Another thing I'm, uh, I need to do is I need to run a custom menu. Uh, you can see I've imported my content a few times. So I've got checkout, two double checkout pages, double transaction failed pages, which is for easy digital downloads. Uh, I've got my plugins, I've got two purchase confirmation pages. I don't want that. What I actually have set up, is a custom menu in WordPress um, and it actually has even some custom settings. I'm using a special plugin that allows me to limit uh, 
menus based on role or based on logged in status. So like the forum, if you're not logged in, you shouldn't see the forum because uh, you don't have it. If you are logged in or if you aren't logged in, then I want you to see the logged out. Then I want you to see the login link. So to do that, I need to go to the menus and I need to go to or choose the menu. I want to use the main menu. Let's remember, I only have one saved, so you'd see more if you had more saved. And which means you could do a custom mobile menu for just mobile users. I'm going to refresh. We now have our custom one. Since I'm signed in on this, you can see I see the forums. I don't see the WordPress uh, admin bar, which is great because it's actually totally useless on a mobile device. You can't see half of it and you don't even know what you're clicking on. Uh, the next thing we can start to do is we can, so we're editing our header menu because that's the only custom menu I have, but we can start to add icons. So I've installed two already. I have Addicted Flavor and Elegant. And you install a new one. Let's install hmm, Glossy E-commerce for fun. So the time it takes here will vary depending on your bandwidth and the servers and all that stuff. But now I have another icon set. And I can now do Glossy E-commerce if I wanted, which I don't. I've never looked at these before, but I don't really like them. Uh, eh, maybe for the cart. Eh, there might be one or two in there that are not too bad. But let's go to Elegant. These are the ones that I actually practiced the screencast with. So we could do Home to assign a Home icon. Uh, for the forum, let's do Double People. For your profile, let's do a Blue Person. For Purchase History, I'm going to use the, uh, the list. Graph. And I said there's not really a great store one. Let's save that anyways. Refresh. I'm still refreshing. Now I got home, store, purchase history. That's great. And let's go. We have addicted flavors, the one that are is up already. So let's go. And there were some good RS there's an RSS icon in here and a podcast. So podcast. And we'll use RSS circle. And why don't we do, is there a logged in one? Oh, we got Super Mario Brothers. Oh, that's cool. Why don't I I'm gonna use Super Mario Brothers for fun? There you go, log in, Super Mario Brothers. All right, so I've got a bunch here. Um, obviously I don't have some anything for my contact page yet, but I could do address book, that'd be fine. Uh, and then for my plugins pages. So we've done some basic setup here for WPTouch Pro 3. Um, some of the other things that we could look at is my theme has um, custom post types because it has a BB Press form on it. And you can see right here, forms, topics, replies. Now there, or we can do that by enabling forum and then we should enable download. This is setting it up so that our templates are going to recognize this. I don't need to do EDD log because I don't want users to see that. That's an internal logging for easy digital downloads or payment or discount or themes. Uh, themes is just something that's left over on my site from long ago when I thought I would build everything myself. So now I actually haven't tested this. Let's go visit our store though. So we're starting to see some support here. So this is something that I will need to do. Um, I'll have to add in full support for this or the store for our products because you should see a product under store. There you go, the book I wrote. Uh, we also probably are not going to see our forum, which would be our BB Press forum, 404 not found. Uh, that might actually be because I haven't refreshed permalink since the import. Um, edit profile. So I have no payment gateway even for easy digital downloads. So that might even be my issue. Um, yeah, so these are things that we're going to resolve over the next number of screencasts. We're going to make sure that our uh, theme actually matches better. Uh, the default one is pretty close, but I don't love it yet. And we're going to make sure our colors match. We'll make sure that we have in here, because these are um, post formats. So we're going to add some post format support. So caching in WordPress, I probably want a little chain link there. I want to have a little thumb of my video there somehow for these ones. So I got three videos in a row in this case. 
Uh, I'm just going to customize this more for my site. But that's the basic intro to WP Touch Pro 3. Thanks for watching.